Jim, what are you drinking? Whatever the media is dishing out. What I'm feeding down. I can't win. For a strong cup of coffee. And I tune in. I'm waking on up. Java with Jim. I now I know my best day. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Job with the Gems. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. We've got Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And we've got Aya in South Carolina. Now you have a friend in the commercial real estate business. Jim, uh, what are you thinking this morning? You know, Aya... I know you and I are really wondering one thing. What is that thing we're wondering, Aya? What is in Jim's cup? Yeah, I'm yeah. drinking some coffee today that is not political. It's not political at all, just like the Oscars. Uh, Aya, what are you drinking? Staying healthy, drinking water, that is as healthy. always. Jim, what are you drinking? Whatever the media is dishing out on my <laughs> Samsung phone while I'm broadcasting on my Motorola phone. So, hey, we are for hire. If you want to sponsor us, please do. Exactly. We have no integrity. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Um, I uh, question, uh, what unique opportunities or challenges uh, can we find in South Carolina for investors? Um, <clears throat> challenges, I wouldn't really know. I think challenges would be a case-by-case -case basis opportunities there's a lot of opportunities if you know what you're doing in commercial real estate we've got opportunities in all different types of product sectors and you know a lot of times when i talk to people about commercial real estate immediately they're thinking about office as the product type and that's the only one that they're all familiar with but what they don't know is retail and industrial product types they're actually booming uh nationwide so within south carolina i would say of course retail um industrial multifamily they're booming but office is doing really well as well here because there's a lot of people moving out of state to south carolina so a lot of opportunities um it just depends on what product type you really want to focus on and learn more about and see the opportunity in Wow. You know, I have a question. May the other Jim ask a question? Yes, go for it. That's why you're here, my friend. Um, what, what what kind of businesses uh, can we find that South Carolina is focused on there? You know, if they work with you, let's say I'm somebody, hey, I want to start to look for business, whether I live there or not. What kind of businesses should I expect to uh, to be thriving in your um, I guess that would really depend on um, because what you're talking about is more on business transactions and business and commercial real estate don't uh, they do go hand in hand, but they are two separate entities. Um, you can if you're looking into buying, right, you're essentially either buying as an investor, which then makes you the landlord. Right. So if you're choosing to buy a retail center, for example, you will have maybe five, ten. 30 tenants in the in that retail center we actually have a retail center on sale right now there's 11 tenants which means 11 businesses are at, at that shopping center and so in that shopping center we have uh coffee shops we have a grocery store we have a vape shop we have a nail salon a hair um hair barbers uh the barbers yeah tax services so it, it just all depends it depends on what you want we have another um uh, business and commercial real estate for sale. It's in a, t a small town called Santee, South Carolina, really great price. It's offered at $375,000 and the business is already included. It's a bar and grill with commercial real estate. So, you know, it's just a matter of what you want to see and what you want to do as an investor, whether or not you want to be the one owning and occupying your, the business and running, running the running the business while you own the real estate, or you can just real the own, own the real estate and then lease out the space to a tenant, which would be the other business owner. And then they would pay you monthly 
Um, so you're really focused in on more the real estate investing side for commercial real estate, not so much just a business owner looking to lease a place or something. We do all kinds, yes, but we don't okay. do we don't specialize in just the business alone. There's business brokers that just do selling of the business and buying of the business, and the Got business it. itself, yeah, it's 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 a separate entity. It could be just Panera Bread, for, for example, um, where they just they're they're looking for a space to lease, but they not they're not necessarily buying the business because they already have the business. So they're just right. expanding. They're just looking into the commercial real estate. So we do both. We can do both because we have that, but we don't just focus on the business. If that makes sense. Great. Well, that's a lot of information there. I love it, and that's why we have you here. Your wealth of knowledge. Even might be even say it takes two gyms to one Aya. So anyway, back to you, Jim. All right, Aya, will you come back tomorrow for another exciting episode? Absolutely. You guys are the best. Absolutely. Amen. Okay, we're going to see you guys again tomorrow.